Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. This will go for the entire month of April. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see how your month is shaping up, Gemini. The month of April, what can Gemini expect? The Emperor, so that could be you. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries, a Scorpio, Taurus, very um maybe somebody an older man well established this person okay so they're not really emotional you know they're not really like wearing their heart on their sleeve they probably possibly don't fall in love anymore everything has to make sense they're really you know um calculated a successful businessman this could even be you but this is somebody um has that heart outside of their chest almost it's like this person has done a lot to pull themselves up from nothing definitely could be you Gemini it's like and you're trying to maintain this here clarify the Emperor you have the seven of Pentacles so it's like there could be some relationship here that's moving slow it's like a building you know you know, may, maybe even building trust. There could be a friendship, friends with benefits, seven of pentacles. It's like a waiting period or somebody's taking a real passive approach to the connection. They're not being forceful or aggressive. This could be you, could be the other person. Somebody's learning to cultivate, to nurture, to plant seed, and then um, allow for the change to happen. This could be a period for some of you um, where nothing really is happening between you and a particular person. This could also be a lot of waiting for money or waiting for uh, opportunity or waiting to like blow up or to make something real solid and stable. It says finish whatever you start here, Gemini. Don't give up. Persevere. See it through. You planted seeds, harvest will come. But it says definitely keep going. For some of you, you've been in a relationship where you're just waiting for change and it's really not coming as quickly as you, you envision or you want. What is the advice for Gemini? What's the advice? What is the advice for Gemini? Uh, the three of cups okay so um date have fun um there will be success success is imminent you're going to get a lot of recognition in your career field there could be a, a a party coming up for you maybe your birthday or something is on the horizon here um, or you're planning for something you're planning to take a trip or you want to be with someone you definitely you definitely want to date someone you don't want somebody to get away or Someone feels like you're getting away or the one that got away. It's like, you know, you need to do something big with this person or big for this person. Or there could be a big celebration or something about big and maybe um, extravagant here. This is the initial stages of creation here. So you're definitely going to see success. If this has anything to do with business, it looks like, again, the initial stages of creation. So you're initially starting it, creating it. But it looks like whatever you're doing is going to pay off. You have the star card here. Could be dating an Aquarius. If you're not dating an Aquarius, and it says that you're on the right path, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, there will be progression here. There's something that maybe you're doing over the internet, or it has something to do with technology. Large groups of people are working in a group-like setting. People look up to you, or people look forward to your work, or whatever it is you do. This could even be going into business with several different people. This is also learn, learning, higher learning. This is self-mastery of your emotions and learning how to express yourself. Express how you think, how, how you feel. This is like running your emotions through your thoughts too. Here's you coming out. Um, the lovers making healthy choices you feel like somebody is perfect for you or someone feels like you're perfect for them 
but there's still distance or restriction or limitations on what it is you guys can do together. What's the outcome here for Gemini? What's the outcome? The advice is just know that you're on the right path. The outcome is the high priestess. There's somebody here who is sexy, seductive. They got it together. You feel like they're the perfect person. You want to have sex with them. Maybe they want to have sex with you. It's just like a real strong connection. It could be like a soulmate connection. The high priestess, this person is elusive, alluring, wise, smart, intuitive, sexy, a threat to each and every woman, every man that you know. This is somebody who's calculated. This is somebody who's getting downloads from the universe. This is somebody who is connected to something, some level of spirituality. It's like they have so much to give. This is somebody who has really good conversations. You can't bore this woman. This is a lot of feminine energy. Could be you, Gemini, could be the other person. The outcome is the high priestess. So a decision needs to be made. You know, a decision needs to be made here. Let's clarify the high priestess here. What is the the decision that needs to be made? The Ten of Swords. That's you, Gemini. So it's like you know you need to make a decision here. Maybe about who you want to be with, what you want to do, how you're going to move, what you're going to do, how you're going to come towards this person. Yeah, it's like with the magician here. It's like you got to put some things in order, put things in order. This could even be in terms of business. You know, you need to make a decision in terms of business and what are you going to do? Are you, are you going to go into partnership? You know, that one thing that you do is going to dominate the other. So how does that look for you? How are you going to get out of one thing and go to the next? The Ten of Swords says, um, collapse, failure. And it maybe that's what you, you suffer from in terms of anxiety or uh, nightmare or you, you fear collapse. You fear something failing or failure, um, being overly dramatic or looking at the details too much or something of that nature. Um, maybe you even fear getting hurt. The outcome is the high priestess. This is masculine energy, feminine, masculine. Somebody's real connected. This masculine energy is still operating kind of like in the 3D. And this feminine energy can see far, far beyond. It looks like there is a, a connection here, though, but it's not made real. The magician and the high priestess counterparts here showing up, but it's not a real relationship or you guys are not really together or you haven't really made it official or you don't really live close to one another. I don't know. A lot of wishful thinking but not a lot of action taken either for you or for the other person or maybe you feel like you've been sold a dream here you feel like something is just going to fall apart maybe somebody told you it would or they, they wish this on you or something of that nature somebody's got you waiting to like in a holding place this is what i have for you gemini if it resonates for you let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section um, if you feel like something is on hold in the relationship, let me know how that resonates for you. If you feel like you want to go towards somebody, but you just don't know, or a relationship hasn't been made real, but you know that this is your person, let me know. Also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Take care.